Hi, this is Todd Prophet with Stage Directions Magazine, and today I'm going to show you uh, a tutorial uh, for a website called Dropbar. Not really sure how to pronounce it. com, and what it is is it's a site that's created specifically so that a, a designer or technician can create, or actually anyone can create an online portfolio. Uh, you can sign up for a free account. With the free account, you are limited on how many things you can upload. Today, I'm going to show you how to build one completely from scratch because. I have already created a website and have used all of my uploads. You can earn more uploads simply by uh, the longer you stay with the service, you're going to get one upload a month. Um, and that's going to allow you to add more things or change things as you go along. If you want to get unlimited uploads, though, you need to subscribe to their guru service. And that's uh, paid, I believe it's around $100 a year. And then you get unlimited uploads and a few more uh, bells and whistles, which I'm sure we'll stumble across some of those. Once you get it for a site, it's going to be, it's going to take you to a page similar to this, and quite simply, we're going to click on "Let's Begin." Um, and the first thing it's going to ask you to do is quite simply add a project. So we'll click, and it's going to ask what this project is. Um, instead of a project, I'm actually going to do, um, I'm going to d upload a, a show. So let's say um, this one, I'm going to do 90 percent. Uh, 90% metaphor, it's a, a dance um, that I have worked on in the past. Um, if I wanted to add a simple description, now instead of a description, what I'm going to add is I'm actually going to add in um, text of who I've worked with in the past. And I'm going to paste that in. And actually, I think I just want to make it so that I delete that. And that it was in 2008. Okay, and now I need to add um, some pictures here. We can uh, drag, we can simply hit import, or we can actually just drag files um, right in. So um, let's go back here and I actually have, what I actually have is I actually have in, a, in my Dropbox, I actually have a, a file called website. I'm sorry, it's called Bio Headshot and Resume, and I actually have a portfolio folder in there as well. So I keep them all organized so that if I'm ever creating a portfolio or need a picture for any reason, I've got them handy. Um, so let's just take a second and drag a few pictures in. And again, these are all counting as uploads. So I'm going to go ahead and stop for now at three. It will take just a moment for them all to get in there. It looks like they are there. Um, so once I get them uploaded, um, they're all in there. And actually what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, you need to make them public once you get them done. So I can actually go up here and I'm going to click that over and I'm going to publish that um, site. So I've got my first project up and ready to go. Uh, I can also click on the... Uh, about page, um, and then in the uh, about page, uh, I'm going to put that my put my name. Okay, um, you can do things like you can put in a basic uh, biography, and again, that's text I've already written up. Uh, for me, an about page is going to be um, half biography, half uh, cover letter. It's, I'm going to talk about why I want you to hire me, but at the same time, I'm going to talk just give some basic information about um, who I am. I could add a location if I wanted to. I can add a website. So if I wanted to put it in my regular website, um, I can. Um, it's asking, am I uh, employed, freelancer, or uh, just having fun? I'm going to, for the purpose of this, going to put uh, freelancer, and I'm available. Uh, contact information. If we click on that, it's going to ask. Uh, it's going to allow me to do the contact, and it's going to contact you through the email address that you've uh, put into the uh, into the website. Uh, you can upload a resume quite easily. Okay, and again, this is where that bio headshot and resume thing comes in really handy. Uh, oops, that's my Vita. I want to put in my resume. That's my current resume, and um, I'm just going to hit open and now I've already uploaded a uh, a resume okay and then it's just got the contact information if we go back to work we can um, add yet another project 
and let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let's just put in um, flea in here. Okay, and I'll add the description in later. But I want to go and grab some of those pictures. Grab again. Now I'm just putting in three as an example. You you're probably going to want to put in uh, more than just three pictures um, to your uh, to your website, um, or more than three pictures for for each show. Uh, I like from four to eight. Um, be careful if you do more than eight, then you're you're really they they've really got to show something different. If not, you're you're going to bore your audience. And again, I'm going to go ahead and publish that one. Okay. So I've already gotten a couple shows put in. Um, now, uh, basically, I mean, you've got pretty much everything ready to go. There are some basic settings you can you can play with a little bit, and that's actually up here in. Um, just click on the the settings tab. The thing I don't like about that is it's a little it's not obvious, um, and I need to fix my name here. All right, um, you'll notice that I have this circle here. Not exactly sure what that is. That's a portrait on the network. So if you wanted to create a custom image or a custom logo that you wanted to, to use as your main header. Um, you could do that. Uh, you could put your, your picture and your, your face in if you wanted to. Um, so if I wanted to, I could actually, again, this is where bio headshot and resume comes in handy because I actually do have avatars or headshots. Um, we'll just open that up and it uploads my picture. Now, you don't necessarily need to have um, use the logo. If you want, you can switch to a basic title. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is that you just have your name. I wish it had like Todd Profit Lighting Designer. And when I posed the, the question to the, to the company when I was creating my site, they said, well, you can create a custom logo if you want to put that in. So it's an option if you know how to do that. All right. Some of the things we can change, we can change the header fonts to something that's a little more interesting. And again, you get three for free. Um, but the rest you need to upgrade to the um, to the Guru account to get those changed. And again, I'm going to change it to that font. Background image. This is where you can have a little bit of fun. You can actually go in and make. You can actually back upload your own background image if you want to. Um, but you can play a little bit with that. Um, top nav bar. We can turn that on. Or off I like to leave it on there you can change its color um, you can change the uh, thumb labels um, I kind of like to have them always on there um, or you can change them to outside either one you can choose the style of grid um, well sure I'm sure all right let's try the other one so I'll actually make one and then make some some smaller ones around it or you can switch to the to this style. I'm not a big fan of this because I don't think the pictures look as good. That's why I like uh, either of this, the square ones. Okay. Um, and again, we have a whole bunch of other guru um, uh, features that you can add, like adding in your custom domain, changing the header more, um, and actually getting rid of their, their branding. So if you're going to, if you want to pay for that, you can. Um, all right. And quite frankly, that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and shut the settings off. We're going to finish editing, and here is your site. Um, all you do is you click on a particular um, project, and you scroll down, and you get to show off the pictures. Um, one of the things that uh, when you first sign up, um, you're gonna it's going to ask you for a, for a name. Unfortunately, it wouldn't let me change mine, so this is my website. Um, it's drp. I'm sorry dropr.com slash portfolio 79872 now that's something I'm not going to want to put on a resume that's something I'm not going to want to send out to people that's where you're going to want to go and um, go to a, either either get a buy a custom domain name at, that forwards to this site or um, you can actually uh, use a, a, a link shortener to create a custom short link to make it easier for people to get to your site uh, and which I've actually got another uh, video up um, uh, about that as well if you, if you want more information about that. Okay, so here is my um, tutorial of 
drapar.com. Uh, like I said, it's fast. I mean, I, I made that in under 10 minutes and I got two shows up and another, I'd say 15 or 20 minutes and I've got a full website, uh, portfolio raring and ready to go. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at todd.profit at gmail.com. Thanks.